you're up for five minutes. Mr. Chairman and distinguished members of the committee, I am honored to be here before you today to testify on issues associated with national security. My name is Maria Espinoza. My testimony is based upon my nearly eight years of traveling across the country with the Remembrance Project, an organization that advocates for those families, our country's previously most forgotten, whose loved ones were killed by illegal aliens. My testimony is designed to assist you and others to understand the urgency of the immediate need to secure our country. Americans will continue to be under assault until the wall is built and the border secured. I have attended murder trials, criminal and civil hearings, testified in other states and participated in roundtables, discussions with sheriffs. I have made presentations and have spoken with groups all over the United States about the most devastating of all impacts of illegal immigration, the loss of a life. I have had hundreds of first-hand experiences with many stolen lives families. For nearly 20 years, families of Americans slain by illegal aliens have given heart-wrenching congressional testimony, like the one you're about to hear from Mrs. Gibney, about the tragic and violent killings of loved ones perpetrated by someone who should not have been in the country in the first place. The irony, while it seemed as though the politicians listened and even publicly gave the families their condolences, congressional leadership the bodies of both houses, Democratic and, Democrat and Republican, have failed to enact the very measures that would have saved American lives. America has spoken. We want the wall built right away. Today, I speak on behalf of the Remembrance Project Advocacy Incorporated, where we proudly support our president and an American first national agenda. The wall is a foundation upon which a comprehensive border policy can and must be built. It is of the utmost urgency. First, for a future perspective on the horrors of a national open borders policy, let's look at Texas over the past six years. According to Department of Homeland Security status indicators, over 217,000 criminal aliens have been booked into local Texas jails between 2011 and 2017 committing nearly 600,000 crimes, ranging from assault, of which there were nearly 70,000, to over 6,000 violent sexual assaults of women and children, and homicides, which numbered nearly 1,200, all preventable. These are only a sampling of the heinous crimes they have committed. Department of Homeland Security reports that a full Two out of three of these crimes were committed by aliens here illegally. Those who falsely state that a great border wall would not work either don't know their history or are in denial. To those border wall naysayers, doubters, and deniers, I can assure you that a wall will work. Today, where walls exist on our own southern border, illegal crossings have been drastically reduced by over 94%. In the Arizona's Yuma sector, arrests of illegal alien crossings dwindled from over 138,000 to just over 8,300. The known attempts to enter and those who escaped dwindled to an equally minimal number compared to the hundreds of thousands who entered and evaded arrests in previous years. Yes, your honorable committee and men and women, walls do work. To falter now has dire future consequences to Americans and America's future. If not built when another open borders president is elected, the technological de deterrence and all important army of border agents will be reduced or entirely removed, allowing this holocaust of American killings to resume. This unwise policy must not be allowed to be perpetrated upon our families. Based upon preliminary information, we believe that the American stolen lives may number in the tens of thousands. But because the government at every level has previously failed to identify correctly the illegal alien killers, no one knows for sure. We welcome Congress's commitment to assure an accurate accounting and believe that all Americans, if they knew the true human cost of this invasion, would demand the wall be built immediately. Just last month, there was a string of reports of heinous crimes committed by illegal alien gang members. The Remembrance Project advocacy stands behind President Trump with the American people in demanding that Congress immediately fund the construction of the wall. All of you here today 
and all of Congress bear a duty, not just to your constituents, but to all Americans, to preserve our sovereign nation and keep our community safe by first and foremost securing our borders. I ask you to, to do all you can to stop, to stop these preventable killings and murders that permanently separate families from their loved ones. Please, not one more stolen lives. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless America.